What's up, y'all? Empress Ari here, back at you once again in another video. I hope all is well with you today. In this video, let's discuss how the enemy came for you and found God standing 10 toes down. Some people who have made themselves your enemies have tried to harm you. But they were so shocked and surprised to be met by God who was standing 10 toes down to protect you. You see, in order to get to you, they have to go through God first. He was right there standing on business because he don't play about you under any circumstances. They thought it would be easy, but they didn't know they would have to go through God to get to you. Although you may have gone through some things, you still probably have no idea the amount of times certain people tried to harm you, but couldn't because you're too protected. You didn't know about this because many times this was being handled for you behind your back. If you are one of God's chosen ones, this has happened a lot in your lifetime, much more than it should have, but it actually wound up exposing some people. Because see, you have some enemies that don't want you to know they're your enemy, which I made a video about. Be sure to watch that video. People attempt, but they aren't able to do certain things they want to do to you simply because God won't let them. Not on his watch. Some of these people actually stalk watch you so that they can see when's the best time for them to do evil things to you. But you are being watched and protected around the clock by God. So it doesn't really matter what time of day or night they pick. He's always on high alert and just patiently waiting on somebody to try to do something against you that they shouldn't be. No time is a good time, but they always have to find out the hard way. Some of their plan seems concrete. Getting through God to get to you is the hard part. It's the challenge they never expected and can't seem to conquer. Every single plot and scheme they tried on you has failed and failed again. Nothing is working out, but they still refuse to leave you alone. So the more and more they try, the more their patience runs thin. This is an ongoing battle between them and God. They are so frustrated, yet not learning from any of their failed attempts. They are running out of ideas. These people think they are so smart. They are very confident that they will be successful at their deceitful scheme against you at some point. They're not realizing that they will keep being disappointed. They are trying to throw negativity at you. They're trying to bully you. They're attempting to hurt you and bring you down because they want you to harshly suffer. They really want to destroy you so bad that it hurts. That's why they keep trying something else after the other things they have tried weren't successful. The next time still won't go the way they are hoping because the plot will keep unexpectedly turning and twisting into your favor. They don't stand a chance against their opponent, which is God. They think it's you, but it's God. They will never be equipped enough. They don't have enough power. They don't have enough people. They don't have enough weapons. No weapon they come up with would work. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. So what they are doing is a lost cause that will only hurt them in the long run and set them back in their own lives. You are being protected from those who have let the devil take over them. You are being protected from those who are trying to conspire with other people to increase their impact against you. You are being protected from those who are trying to interfere with the divine plan that has been placed upon your life. They don't quite understand what you mean to God. You are someone who is very special, very valuable to God, very adored and cherished. This is why God takes it so personal when other people mistreat you. So you only get the best protection. As God's pride and joy, he will protect you at all costs and stay undefeated against anyone coming for you. They are really giving it all they have, but God keeps amping up the protection for you as needed. This won't end well for people who don't stop while they can. 
They're being stubborn, but they will keep being met by God. They don't realize leaving you alone is easy, but stopping the wrath of God isn't easy at all. It can't be stopped once it's coming down on them. Even begging for mercy won't help them. It will already be too late because they did too much. Even though he's protecting you, even you are unable to control what God decides to do to them. But again, it won't end well for these people. God really takes offense when people mess with his rare chosen few. That's why he goes so hard for you while protecting you. He moves completely differently about you. How God moves about you keeps your enemies guessing and stressing because he pulls out all the stops. You have a level of protection they have never seen before. They don't want to believe it. Your enemies came for you, but they were met by God standing 10 toes down. This is a battle they will lose. For an exclusive one-on-one -on -one session with me or to donate to me in the channel, all that information will be down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be back soon. Peace.